Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the relative atomic mass for an element. You will see other more complicated looking ways of working out the relative atomic mass, but I'm going to show you a very straightforward and easy way. So relative atomic mass, you may also see shortened to RAM or AR, the R being down at the bottom subscript, and it's to do with isotopes. So here we've got two isotopes of chlorine. We can see their isotopes because they're the same element. They've got the same number of protons, but different numbers of neutrons. If you need a quick reminder about what isotopes are, I'll put a link up here now to one of my previous videos. So the mass number on the periodic table is an average for the isotopes. So for chlorine, you could expect the average to be 36 because it's halfway between 35 and 37. However, on the periodic table, if you look at chlorine, the relative atomic mass is 35.5, and that's because it's a weighted average. So imagine if you took the average height of everybody in your class, it wouldn't necessarily be exactly halfway between the smallest and the tallest person. If you've got a lot of tall people in the class, then the average will be a lot higher. Now, in the case of chlorine, if we look at a sample of chlorine, 75% of the chlorine atoms are chlorine 35 with a mass number of 35 and only 25% are chlorine 37 atoms. So that's why the average is nearer to chlorine 35 because there's more atoms that are chlorine 35. Don't worry about the numbers at this stage. I'm going to show you an easy way of how to get your head around the numbers for now. I want you to realize that the definition of relative atomic mass is the relative atomic mass is the average mass of all the isotopes for that element. And now we're going to go on and see how we can actually calculate it. Sticking with the previous example of chlorine, if we were asked how to calculate the relative atomic mass, you'd be given certain information in an exam question. It would tell you that there are two isotopes of chlorine, chlorine 35 and chlorine 37. They're the mass numbers of the two different isotopes. And it would also tell you how much of each there is. In other words, the abundance. So chlorine 35 has an abundance of 75%. That means if we had a jar of chlorine, 75% of the atoms would be chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 has an abundance of 25%. And we'd be asked to calculate the relative atomic mass. So the first thing I would do is write the information next to each type of chlorine. We've got 75% of one and 25% of the other. And then what we do is 75% is just 75 out of 100. So that's 75 divided by 100 times the mass number 35 and that comes to 26.25. Then we do the same for chlorine 37, but this time we've only got 25% of it. So we do 25 divided by 100 times 37, and that comes to 9.25. And then we simply add these two numbers together. So the relative atomic mass is 26.25 plus 9.25, and that comes to 35.5, which is the number that we see on our periodic table. Time to have a go now. So have a calculator and a pen and piece of paper ready. Pause the video, do exactly the same as we did on the previous example and see what number you get for the relative atomic mass. OK, so let's see how you got on. So first of all, we've got 7.6% of lithium six and we've got 92.4 percent of lithium seven so then we do 7.6 divided by 100 times six because that's the mass number six and that comes to 0.456 then we do 92.4 divided by 100 times seven and that comes to 6.468 add the two numbers together and the relative atomic mass for lithium is 6.924. Now on the periodic table you get on the exam, it's showing up as seven because that number has just been rounded up. 
I've called this last question the challenge question because there's three isotopes of magnesium, but in actual fact, you do it exactly the same. You work it out for each one and then add the three numbers together this time. So once again, pause the video, then check back in to see if you've got the answer correct. So let's start working our way through. For magnesium 24, there's 79%, magnesium 25, there's 10%, and magnesium 26, there's 11%. So for magnesium 24, we do 79 divided by 100, that's the 79%, times by the mass number 24, and we get 18.96. We do 10 divided by 100 times 25 for the next one, and that's 2.5. Then we do 11 divided by 100 times 26, and that's 2.86. And when we add all of those numbers together, the relative atomic mass comes to 24.32. If you found the video useful, please remember to like it and subscribe to my channel, Revised Chemistry with Mr. B. Thank you for watching.